The open heaven sought day is titled How to Deal with Mountains Part 4. Memory verse Psalms 121, verse 1 and 2. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. For whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Bible reading Lamentations chapter 3, verse 22 to 26. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning, great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, saith my soul, therefore will I hope in him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. Today we shall be looking at a practical way of assessing divine help to deal with mountains. My first admonition today is that you should trust God, your Heavenly Father. In our Bible text for today, we read that it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, because His compassions fail not. When we believe this scripture, we have no reason to be anxious anymore, and we shall be unmovable. We should also trust God the Son. Jesus said, If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. John 14, 14. Jesus made it clear to us that he is the way, the truth, and the life, and no man can come to the Father except through him. John 14, 6. Finally, we must trust God, the Holy Spirit, for his power and strength. He is our energizer and the seal of our salvation. We can only succeed through life's journey by his help. The Bible says in John 14, 17, even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. You should always remember the mercies of God, according to our text of today. In 1 Samuel 17, verse 37, David said, The Lord that delivered me out of the paw of the lion, and out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. David remembered the mercy of God that was delivered him from the danger of death, and the mountain of Goliath fell before him. According to Jesus in Matthew chapter 17, verse 20, we must have faith in God if we want to surmount the mountains of life. Finally, live righteously. The Bible says, Say to the righteous, and shall be well with him. For they shall eat the fruit of their doings. Woe to the wicked, it shall be ill with him, for the reward of his hand shall be given him. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 10 and 11. In other words, only those who belong to God can surmount the mountains of life. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, plead with him to forgive your sins and make you his child, you shall overcome in Jesus' name. Prayer point. Father, please make me a doer of your word and level all the mountains of my life to be in Jesus' name. Amen.